Unqualified as Fuck is the ultimate podcast for anyone hustling to find happiness in this crazy world. Whether you're deep in a relationship, stuck in a situationship, heartbroken, or just feeling lost, we've got your back. Join us as we share our own experiences and guide you on your journey of self-awareness and elevation. We're committed to offering diverse perspectives because we understand that there's more than one way to get shit done. By the way, we're with the shits. So tap in, get lit, and let's get to the bag. Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of the Unqualified as Fuck podcast. I am your host, Azar Faraday. You already know to say the whole name. This is my co-host, Opulent Six. He's in the silk set today. You're too near me not to hear me. Okay. And this is my beautiful co-host, Jenny B. Thick, And she's looking fine as wine per usual. I know y'all see it. Um, today we are going to be talking about girls trips. Is it okay for you to go on a girls trip if you are in a committed relationship? I've been having some conversations about this and getting mixed reviews. So I want to have a conversation. I want to get everyone's feedback. I'll start with me. Um, so I was having a conversation with my good friend, Harry, and he was telling me that he would feel extremely uncomfortable if his girl decided to go on a girl's trip with her homegirls. Why? His reasoning mm-hmm. is, number one, he feels like if a girl is committed to her man and really loves him and wants to be with him, she should always want to be around him. So why are you choosing to go on a girl's trip if you have a man? Why aren't you asking your man, yo, come with me on a trip? Number two, he said he knows what goes on on these girls' trips, and he's seen he don't he don't he doesn't want his girl twerking on a yacht to the city girls half naked or being around a bunch of other men, especially if some of the girls that she's with are single as well. Mm. So for him, it just seems like she has some ulterior motives if she's choosing to go on a trip with a full full of women versus a trip with him. Wow. So I'm confused. Okay, so let's talk about it. If you don't trust your mate, why are you with them? Okay. Like if she's gonna if he or she's gonna go on anything or do anything and they <laughs> are gonna cheat on you, they're gonna cheat on you anyway. You don't have to take a girl's trip. He could they could do it five miles away. They could cheat with your neighbor. They could cheat with the person above you on the floor above you. Like I don't Ooh, get the what the person above you on the floor above you is crazy. Like in the same build, like you know what I mean? Like what is the point of telling people what they can and can't do? I am so um, confused. And I, his, to your point. I believe, how old is Chuck? 20 what? Chuck? What'd she say his name? Harry, his name is Harry. Yeah, where I get Chuck He's, from? I have Harry is no idea. He's like 33 or something. 33? Yeah. That is the most asinine reason I've ever heard for not wanting your girl to go on a girl's trip. But inside of that, the other side of the because one side of that coin is asinine. But the other side sounds like insecurity and PSD, PTSD. Because mm. maybe he's been cheating. That's happened before. So he's reliving it. You know, so I'm, if that is the case, I don't want to write off his PTSD. But if my woman wanted to go on a girl's trip, she could. Yeah. I don't, mm-hmm. what, like, I know who I'm in a relationship with. I don't believe that she'll ever do anything outside of what I believe her to be able to do. Like I know what her boundaries is. I know what she's capable of. Right. Especially being my wife. I wouldn't have married. I didn't marry her until I've seen all four seasons of her. Mm. I know how she act when she happy. I know how she act when she's sad. I know how she act when she got money. And I know how she act when all hell break loose. She's quiet during all of those things. <laughs> she, re- My wife really is because she <laughs> understands that her, her, her femininity and her divine femininity and her power is in her silence well i will say this too he also mentioned like as a as a woman if you're with a powerful man um he feels like being with a powerful man you should trust his leadership and if he isn't powerful and he is on bs then there's no reason you should be listening to but what does man. leadership have to do with her going on a girl's trip trust my leadership like i don't this. want you on a girl that I sounds see... i'm finna just tell tell you right now henry sounds insecure his name is harry don't do i that. mean harry I, I, okay harry okay but there's respectfully two sides to that coin though huh 
I feel like there's even two sides to that. Okay. Now, if I he don't like her, I'm going to let you, but if he don't like her friends. I'm going to let you finish, but. <laughs> if he don't like her friends. Oof. That's another thing we talked about. I want to get into that. Tell you, if okay. you don't like her friends, mm. that's a different story. Okay. Now the con the conversation moves to a different different beat of, of a drum. Mm. I can't relate to my mate having friends whom I don't like. Mm. When I met my wife, put it like this, her and her best friend then is no longer best friends now. Cause it became a point of our relationship when we got even more serious, but her best friend was overtly hating and doing mm. things to, to cause discourse. I thought my wife would choose her best friend cause they was roommates and everything. So I was already ready to let it go. Like, I'm not even gonna ask you to choose between me and your best friend. You see what's going on. If you cool with it, I ain't gonna fuck with you. So I never even posed the, the the ultimatum, either me or her. Like once I realized, so you do see what's going on. She made the call and just say, here we are 18 years later, damn near. They're still no longer best friends. So again, mm -hmm. I can't relate to my woman being with a bunch of women that I don't agree with how they move. So in that context, he is right. My, my woman does trust my leadership, but I personally am not gonna be with nobody who don't trust my leader, but I trust hers. It was times, she was like, you don't don't trust him, don't trust him, don't trust him. And I'm like, these are my childhood friends. You tripping. But she was absolutely right. My, my woman has never been wrong about anyone from a childhood friend to a client to my family members. She's never been wrong. So when my wife don't like something or, you know, wants to impart her discernment upon me, I receive it. And it goes both ways. Jan, what was your perspective? Well, I was going to say it's kind of layered because I would love I don't want to ever be with a man who I don't respect and ever be with a man whose leadership I don't respect so I would love to be in a position where if he said no I would say okay I would never question why he said yes or no mm. I would just do it so that's the position I want to be in from the jump so mm -hmm. if he says I'm like hey you know so and so Azar want to go and Go to Coop, you know, Cancun. And he's like, no. I'm like, all right. And I tell Azar I don't want to go. And if she's like, oh, your man said, yeah, he said no. Right. And I'm fine with that. Like, why would I degrade my man in front right. of anybody else? I so love from that. from that perspective, it's a yes. Like, whatever he says goes because that's my man. I chose him. And right. I think that that's somewhat of what he's saying. Another thing um, that was interesting that I somewhat agree with to a certain extent is that women don't really, he said that women don't really have a lot of friends. Men do, women don't, because hmm. obviously men, obviously you guys are the exception of the rule, right? You guys have been friends for however long, but mm -hmm. even me, most of my homeboys outside of you, who's like a brother to me, has been always, it's a conversation of all of a sudden you are in love with me, or you like me, or you want to try something, and oh. it's always... They're your friend yeah, until they have an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> the, ma the male friends that I mostly have are only because I don't want to be with you. I friend-zoned you. Well, they're and not I friends. It. So, yeah. But so I'm, that's I'm my confused. Point. Are we talking about the girl's trip or a guy's no, I'm trip? Just, I'm, we... I'm, <laughs> a, I'm, a mixed mingle? No, no, no. I'm just... that got I, to do with guys and girls. No, I'm just bringing up another point. I'm not even... It's not even about that. And and then secondly, for women, he said that women's friends for a lot of, uh, for the most part, are either like haters and they want to be in your relationship and they're giving mm. you bad advice and they're not necessarily leading you in the right direction. So sometimes you'll ask them advice, leave that nigga girl, blah, blah, blah. But All they'll right. be in the same position and stay with that I man. will say this. Harry hit it on the, hand, the nail yeah. on the head with that. Yeah. Because there are a lot of women that will give advice Mm -hmm. give you advice yeah. that they won't even take. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of women like that. And I think as a man, you are supposed to uh, give your woman provision. Yeah. You look yeah. over her, but y'all are supposed to look over each other. And any you are what you co-sign. You cannot separate what you are from what you do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if four of y'all are hoes and one of you not a hoe, you're just not a hoe yet. Ooh, not yet. And that's how I'm treating it. That's a and fact. Because you're a representation of me. So if I know they hoes and they got that reputation, I don't even want you around that. Mm -hmm. If you do want to be around that, you're not going to be around me. That's and it fact. go vice versa. Because, again, you are what you co-sign. You cannot separate what you are from what you do. They are one, They are conflated. They are one and the same. So, again, if I look at most of your friends and I don't like the way they're moving, I'll ask you 
to choose a better crowd. Hmm. That's conducive to the part of your life you're in now. If 10 of your homegirls are single and they out, you know, doing what single people do and you're in a relationship, on what level you going to relate to them? I remember going out with my homeboys. And so we went to Tao. And I didn't really want to go because at this point I'm like super married and not like that. But, you know, I'm kind of the man. I'm the man. I'm young. I'm fit. I got money. You know, I'm more man than a dirt bike. You know, a dirt bike go, man, man, man. I am the man. <laughs> not okay? more than a dirt bike. And my bike. guys are single. Okay. So they have the energy that we're single and they're successful. Yeah. So that Wait. energy would always attract women. I'm confused. What? Wait, listen, listen, that it would attract women. <laughs> and right. I remember one time we went out and I'm standing there. We, we went to the club after and I'm like, I really don't want to be here because what am I going to do? So a group of girls come up and start talking. Mm -hmm. They all single. So they mingling. I'm quiet. You know what they say? What's wrong with your friend? Of course. He's married. Now I look like <laughs> the mean one. So I start talking. Boom. And then she's like, you want to dance? First of all, I'm a I don't dance. You know what I mean? I'm kind of a Do gangster. You boogie? They dance I don't boogie. and tell, right? I, I, I said we went to the club. Oh, two okay. situations okay. happened. Okay. The one in town, two situations. So, but I'm like, I don't dance. And she's like, all oh, your friends being mean, he's being rude. And I'm like, I'm married. And she's like, you married? Why are you sitting here talking to him? I'm like, I'm being having a regular conversation. Yeah. And you taking it the wrong way. Or I don't talk, you take it the wrong way. So I don't even like being in that environment. But that happened after Tao. At Tao, the girl sitting across from us was like, hey, excuse me. And we like, hey, what's going on? And she was like, you all, all you guys look pretty successful, right? And they go, yeah. And then she say, how come every time black men get money, y'all don't want to deal with black women? And everybody go like, ooh, ooh. Now, I will say this. Some of the guys I was with don't discriminate. So they will dibble and dabble in every race. So I guess she was picking up on them looking at other. Oh. So then when she said that, everybody's like, oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting the furthest away from her. And she's like, I've been trying to talk to your friend, but he's been ignoring me. But when the white people walk by, the white girls, as she said, y'all all looking at him. And then they like, who? And then she said him, which is talking about me. So I look like I'm sitting the furthest away from her. When she's speaking, she's so far. I'm not even paying attention because you so far away. I, I ain't going to yell over the music. But. They like him. And I'm like, my friends say, should you tell her or should we tell her? Right. Here we go. Yeah. And I was like, you tell her. And she, he was like, mama, mama, he's married. And she was like, to a black girl? Yes. And then I was a like, beautiful yes. Black woman. Beautiful. Okay. So a lot of times just putting yourself in that situation, if you're not, uh, if exactly. you're in a committed relationship, mm -hmm. I'm going to sum this up. If you're in a committed relationship, happy, healthy, fruitful. And you get put in those relation, those situations, and you're not uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Of course. So let me say this: I never really gave my opinion on what I thought, um, and this is going to be unpopular opinion to you guys, or not maybe not you guys, but to the world. I'm sure. Go ahead. Uh, I'm ready for me? Number one, I don't go on girls trips. I've never been on a girls trip in my life. I um, I'm not into group travel like that because mm -hmm. y'all run me low. I yes. don't want to go with a bunch of different people it's on all these schedules. It's not my vibe. Yeah. I, I am a relationship type person. I like to be with my man. I don't have a lot of friends. I have two, three friends that have been my friends since I was 20 years ago, right? Um, outside of that, I will say that I agree with Harry for the most part because if i am in a relationship and some a bunch of homegirls want to go on a girls trip we go out we meet a bunch of dudes because they're feeling it one of those dudes are going to try to talk to me and i'm gonna have to be in an uncomfortable position and dudes can either get aggressive or they can tell you like what's your just like the women were like what's wrong with him he's da -da -da -da. and that's imagine a man in that position they really feel slighted for the most part and or i'm just sitting there where all of my homegirls are booed up with a man and i'm missing my dude like where is my dude at i'm just sitting here while y'all are all booed up enjoying right. your time with a man and i'm on the phone trying to call my dude from you in a, a different corner, country like. <laughs> and he's like yeah i told you um in another instance what jen said i believe too i am someone who if my man tells me not to do something i don't do it it just is what it is. I, I really am like that. If my man tells me to change, I'll change. 
And I know that people don't like that. People say that I'm weak because of that or whatever the case is. But I feel like, you know, if my man is advising me on something, there's probably a reason because he's a man. Mm. So he understands, well, you have that on. I know how I, that make me feel. So it's about to make a whole <laughs> bunch of other men feel that same way when you step out mm -hmm. and I'm trying to avoid conflict. Because mm. if I'm out with my man and I'm in something that looks salacious and all these men are trying to get at me, that puts him in a compromising situation because now he's gonna have to possibly fight someone, get into it with someone. And that to me is just, it's unnecessary. But those scenarios are just scenarios of basically if you putting yourself in a group of girls that have that energy. Right. You yeah, can have that's a, true. You can go on a girl's trip where all y'all in a relationship. But then why are we with all of our men in a couple's trip? Because, so let me speak. Mm, As okay. a guy been in a relationship. Not just a relationship, married. A, a relationship, happy, healthy, fruitful. Okay. We have our rules and regulations. Yeah. We have our leniencies. We have the things we get to do and don't get to do. And we're going on 18 years. Yeah. yeah. So this is just, thank you. Yes. This is where I'm speaking from because a lot of people get on the internet, get on these podcasts and give advice. Unqualified right. as fuck. Well, they give unqualified <laughs> as fuck advice because what no is idea. your advice anchored to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your life is proof of concept. So when you give advice, what is it anchored to? So again, my advice is anchored to being in a happy, healthy, fruitful relationship for going on 18 years with one woman. Mm -hmm. And we had a contract, renegotiated a contract and got, so this is where I'm advising from. Mm -hmm. So the point is, when you're in a relationship, it's better for you to have a life, her to have a life mm -hmm. or him have a life and then y'all have y'all life together. Me and my wife go on trips together. Mm -hmm. Every trip we go on don't have to be together. If she had homegirls that were on the same frequency as her, living the same lifestyle, and she agreed with their scruples. Does she? Some. But not but a lot, right? Some, very few because yeah. uh, women that mm -hmm. are alpha women, my wife is an alpha woman, alpha mm -hmm. women are running packs, one. She just, exactly. don't, she just don't mess with two, everybody either. Two, I'm the same two, way. Two, the women of her same caliber have homes and businesses and things too. So the time really is going the time is limited. Mm -hmm. So they they have limited like, all right, we can go do a brunch, we can go it's limited. It's not we can't fly out every other month and go here and go there. That is why. But if she wants to go, she can because I trust her. I don't regulate or dictate my wife. I help her navigate. But I, even with that, it's like, mm. I would trust your navigation because there's never been a man who told me to stop t hanging out with a girl that wasn't on point about mm. the reason why I shouldn't be around this girl. Mm. Every time I've been with a man, he's like, she's not your real friend. He was right. Mm. Right. But it go both ways. I'm yeah. agreeing with you. It yeah. go both. Because again, I've had to tell my wife about her best friend only one time. And then they were no longer best friends when I realized, okay, so you do see what's going on. I, she's, I've never asked her to make a choice. I'm like Jen in that regard. If I bring something to you and you see what it is, then you make your choice. After you make your choice, I'm going to make mine. You get what I'm saying? So I never have to say, don't wear this, don't wear that. First of all, my wife look good. I enjoy a good looking mate. What uh, Eric Bellinger said, they ain't looking out on Warner. So go ahead. Because a lot of times people are like, dang, you let your wife wear that? And I go, I, first of all, I can't let her do anything. Right. She's grown. Right. My wife is an equal. She's grown. I'm the head, but she the neck. And the neck holds the head up and can turn it in any direction. Mm -hmm. So don't ever forget it. Mm -hmm. She don't want to be me and don't want to have my role and I don't want to have hers. Thank you. So whatever she, if she wore something I didn't like, I would tell her mm -hmm. like, uh, and it's on her to either change it or don't. Yeah. But we don't have those kind of problems. Our relationship really is dope. We don't have them kind of problems. So because she's already aligned with you, and you're aligned with right. her. So yeah, I because I give her the this. same respect, yeah. though. I give her if she, if my wife Wait, tell she me let don't you trans wear gray sweats. Yeah. yeah. Oof. There's been a couple of times where she was like, <laughs> you know like, what I'm talking about? <laughs> there's been a couple of times if she would say I'm something. Joking, by the way, <laughs> like, like if I was, you know, was going to mailbox and I have a shirt on, she'd be like, where you? Mm. Like she was. It's the way she says. She don't flat out try to tell me oh, nothing. Oh, it's like she's she, flirting with you almost, she, too. No, nah, it's like, I don't think, I don't know if I like you wearing that. Mm. If she don't know, she, it's the way she'll ask a question when she kind of don't know how she feel. Mm. And then when I know you kind of don't know how you feel, I'm going to pick a side. Okay. 
And then if she do feel a way, she'll flat out say it. Yeah. And then I'll just do that. Like yeah. my wife is, I think there's only been three people. She was like, I don't want you training this person. Damn. And keep oh, in mind, wow. I've had, yeah, I've had a, I've trained the who's who of people. I've trained from young Miami to Doja Cat to, I have a, a whole list of celebrities and regular people I train. There's only been like three times she was like, I don't want you training her. Mm. And I won't. Mm. I don't even ask why. I love that. I don't even ask why. So it's I have a question that said. hands on this too, because I think this is beautiful. Because I would love to hear what is the difference between what you're talking about and insecurity? When does it bridge into like, y'all don't have a good relationship? Because it sounds really close to the same thing. What do you mean? Like, like elaborate? telling somebody... Like, I don't like that. That's not necessarily the vibe. Like, even though we're letting them choose at the end of the day, uh, when is it saying. insecurity and when is it just these are the, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I get it. I get it. That's a tough one. That's almost a conundrum. Mm -hmm. I guess what what I guess is the in, the driving force, the energy behind that mm -hmm. request. I guess that's the most I can do because. Yeah, because it doesn't I, sound like I, distrust. Yeah. Well, one was. But sometimes you don't trust the other people. Right. But one one of the people was my ex's cousin mm. that wanted to train with me. And she like, was like, no. Yeah. She was like, nah, I'm not cool with that. Mm. But and so. I was like, oh, OK. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, I'm not going to ask no right. questions because. I trust mm -hmm. you and I don't want to train nobody to the right, tune yeah, where yeah. it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. You get yeah. what I'm saying? The and I know her. Thing, the beautiful thing about what you're saying too is, and I've heard this, like I've heard men say this about me, is that I feel like you're the type of person who wouldn't overflex that muscle. Meaning right. like you've only, you're only going to say it a few times. You're not going to use it every time. Like you can't do that. Like that's, I'm not cool with that. But it's like, you're so unproblematic that if you say something, I know it's serious. Right. Right. That's a fact, too. It's like you're not always bringing up every person I want to be around. Everything I want to do is an issue. Mm -hmm. But you are using your own intuition to know I don't really feel good right. about this. Mm -hmm. I will say this, though. This is what I'm starting to realize a lot mm -hmm. with our generation and all the social media and everything. And we've touched on this before, but I'll say it again. I feel like there's a lot of men that are feeling just, I don't know if I want to use the word insecure or just more aware of the type of world and the dynamics mm -hmm. that we're living in now. Because whereas women used to be more docile in relationships or not necessarily as out there, now in relationships, you're posting bikini pictures and you're online texting with X, Y, and Z and you're putting yourself out there a lot more. And I think men have been a lot more scarred by women. I think it that back like in it. the day, <laughs> women were less, you know, out there. And I think, and we can just go back all the way till however centuries ago where mm -hmm. women weren't even allowed to wear something that showed their neck and have a job. <laughs> I agree. Now with it's like you can be, women have so much freedom that they can literally be online. They could be anywhere doing anything. Right, but they always could, contextually could have, and I agree with you, but that's that man's insecurity. When you handling your business, 100%. you not worried about who looking at her. Matter yeah. of fact, I don't care. When that WCW stuff was trending, remember everybody with woman crush, women crush Wednesday. Uh -huh. You know how many people made my wife they WCW? I did. You, She's my stupid. everyday crush. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, like <laughs> every it, it day. doesn't. No one ever. I made do me very this. nasty <laughs> things to your WCW boy, so you can <laughs> hard eyes her picture. I don't care. You know what I mean? Because I know what I bring to the table and so does she. Mm. You get what I'm saying? She ain't going nowhere like a bad Navi. She been here mm -hmm. because she wants to. Every day we wake up and we choose each other all over again. Nowhere like a bad. She ain't going nowhere like both flat say? tires. You said this before. You said women won't leave a bad man. Yeah, I, I say that all the time. Yeah, you do. A man, a, a woman won't leave a man that ain't shit. They'll stay there years and years. Because I was talking to Jen and I was like, my wife ain't going nowhere because I'm a good man. You said this uh, on uh, one uh, of our episodes uh, uh, But they won't leave a bad man. Why would you leave a man that is giving you, that protects you, provide, put it down, still like I'm in my 20s, we steal everything. Where are you going to find that at? She know that. <laughs> Why did he is horrible? She know that. I didn't even we're see haters, our face. We're haters. We both were like, like, okay. Sometimes you know that back. Stop it she, now. No, she like, know that. <laughs> she feel <laughs> like, well, she been here 18 years straight. Ain't I'm, no off and on. I'm crying. She know that. So I'm I don't have none of, and I know that. Right. That's why I'm still here. Every right. day we get up 
and we choose each other again. But instead of trying to regulate her, uh, 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 we ch- every day we wake so up and we choose sweet. each other. Okay, without every- us interrupting. That was so sweet. Let's say it again. Every day, me and my wife wake up and we choose each other again. And that is the key. I'm not going off of the love that I had for you in 2006. I'm not going off the love I have for you. It's, the, it's today's love. I love you all over brand new right now again. And you do that every day. You do that every single day. I love you again. So I don't have to mute her. I don't have to try to block her shine. Everything I did for her is in her name. It's her. She can leave. I want a woman that needs me because she wants me, not wants me because she needs me. I could so cry. let me say this. I, I choose have you every questions. day, too. Yeah. I have two questions. Number one. <laughs> that was so sweet. It was sweet. My sister and her husband told me this all the time. They said, everyone always asks us, how do we make it 27-something years married? And they're both hot people. Like, my sister's gorgeous. He's like a big top. You know, he's that man, whatever. And so the reason they told me um, was because they just choose each other at the end of the day. He can go and do X, Y, and Z. He can go be with Beyonce, but she knows at the end of the day, he's going to come back and choose her. And the moment that he doesn't is the moment that they no longer need to be together. So I have been living in this space of like, I'm just letting go and I'm not forcing it and I'm not coercing it and I'm not trying to make things more than what they are. If you are going to wake up and choose me every day. I'm going to choose you and that's going to be a conscious decision and we're going to fuck around. But if for some reason you're not choosing me or I'm not choosing you, then it's time to move on. And I think it's as simple as that. Mm. I'll also say that women stay with bad men. So I couldn't imagine. Let me tell you something right tonight. And I'm making this a public service announcement. That one's a great man. One. Wait, the red one. Say it. <laughs> right there. That one. Say it in the I am. <laughs> a man who would treat me right and really do all the things that you just mentioned. I couldn't even imagine how I would act. Honestly, I don't even want to know because it's going to be a stone cold fool. Like I'm just going to be so in love every day with a man who treats me right because I'm such a giver and I've given to people who were undeserving of my love. So I can't even imagine how good I would feel giving to people who are deserving. A man who really deserves me, who shows up for me is going to, I don't, I I don't know how I'm going to act. And I don't Same. even know that y'all want to see even that. more than Same. what you act now because oh, you're more. a good person. You very sweet. You very somebody gonna be lucky. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your big bro, but somebody gonna get lucky. Thank but no, I know sure. that because I feel lucky. My wife don't. We don't argue. You can ask her. We don't have art. We don't have any. First of all, we have equity in our relationship. Going on 18 years, she know there's certain things I'm never gonna change, so she ain't gonna bring it up. I love there's that. There's certain things she ain't gonna change. She ain't gonna ever bring it up. She ain't even gonna have an attitude. She ain't even gonna breathe hard, slam a door, stump, or whistle. Can I you have a question? Wait. Okay. Can I tell you when, you were, when we were on the phone together? Remember? Can I say what that? Happened? We were chill. We were on the phone together, and you were like talking to him in the background, and then you came back on the phone. You're like, "Excuse me, we just argued." I'm like, "Oh." I was like, I forgot what happened, but it was something, something really. I said something, something, and no. she said something, and I was, and I was like, like oh, I was on the what? phone with Jen. I was like, Jen, sorry, you had to be part of that argument. She was like, what? A but argument. Our, our argument is just like ba- talking. It's like a. He's actually talking and then louder she say than B? right now than they argue. And then she, they don't yeah. argue. I love there's that. There's no reason to. I love that because. Too. She say A, I say B, and either we see it the same way or we agree that it's going to be A or going to be B. And then now you have a choice to respect my A and I have a choice to respect your B or we have a choice to disrespect it. But if we disrespect it, we know the relationship is going to erode. We are emotionally intelligent. Mm. It takes more than love to be in love. You have to be emotionally intelligent. Mm. You have to have high sensory acuity when it comes to love. You have to be in tune with your mate. Yeah. I have a question. I don't want to forget it. Yes, please. I'm sorry. For both of you Because I could, I could not believe it. Who do you think? Because I've heard two things, right? I've always heard uh, you should always get with a man who loves you more than you love him. Mm. Who do you think? And I had this like discussion a week ago or something. Who do you think should love each other more in a relationship? Or do you think Ooh. it should be equal? I don't think that it's equal. I think it always... To like it balances out like I feel like there's some points where I'm just more on it and then he's kind of having a down moment or there's points where I'm more on it or he's more on it or whatever 
Um, who do you think should love each other more? They say that a man should because women are overly emotional and men always dictate the relationship for the most part. Mm -hmm. So they always say that a woman should be with someone who loves her more so she can have that security and that consistency. I've heard and believe and think because I would love to hear Six's last because I want to see what he thinks about what I'm going to say. Okay. I think men and women love different because men aren't as emotional as a woman. So that part is like, we expect men to be like us and all up in arms about some stuff when they're just succinct, get to the problem, let's resolve it, we're done with it. And women are expecting the emotionality from a man that they don't have or should not really display. I don't want my man to sit there and be like, well, you did this, well, I did that. Like, I don't need that in a man. I need him to be decisive. I need him to be succinct. I need him to tell me what to do to resolve the situation. So I don't need emotionality in that respect from a man. But I do love when a man is just like, hey, you have a problem. I can solve it. I will hear you, blah, 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 blah. But I don't need the emotionality. So that's why I think men and women love differently. Women are a little bit more emotional and there's a time for that. I think the way that they approach their man when he's dealing with something is very important. Like the way she says things, the way she goes about it, how her demeanor while they're going through an issue is a completely different thing. So that's why I think men and women love differently. I agree with that. Six. I said a lot. What you think, boo? I couldn't have said it better myself. I agree with that's that. That's the absolute truth. Men and women do love each other mm -hmm. differently. Um, women associate uh, priority and being heard with being loved. Mm -hmm. You're right. Men associate being respected and appreciated with love. If we don't feel respect and don't feel appreciated, we don't feel love. That is our metric. So wow. when you say who should love who more, we're, there's two different metric systems that men and women use. We're not measuring love the same way. So I feel like whether you a man or a woman, as long as she giving you love in the way you need to be loved, it don't matter who's love and who, because you don't, you can't measure love. You can't measure love or pain. You can't tell somebody they hurt more, or hurt worse, or hurt love more. All you can do is know if you're receiving what you need. Yeah. But there will be times where you feel like you putting in more. I'm gonna piggyback a czar, putting yeah, in more here yeah. and more there. It's gonna vacillate the whole relationship. Cause even like falling in love, it's rare. No two people, no two people fall in love at the same time. Mm. That's true. They don't. You get what I'm saying? Wow. They don't. It's rare that that ever happens. So in love coming, the way the love comes in a relationship, it come in the same packaging. It's going to be up. It's going to be down. It's going to swing this way. It's going to swing that way. So I don't feel like you should, me and my wife, we don't measure each other's love because we show it different. And her love is like, you ain't, you, every time you open up your drawer, there's clean drawers and socks and you work out and change clothes four times a day. And you Especially never have, you thing. never have dirty nothing. It's clean, it's folded. That is That's love. love. That is love. You never, you never have to, and, and, and I'll show my love in different ways. Like you, like everything you have, like it's done. It's done. It's done. You have a comfortable, luxurious life. It's a bar. You get what I'm saying? And, 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 and let me just clear this up. Luxury is not a Chanel purse. Luxury is Gucci. Y'all need to rethink what luxury is. When I say my my wife has a luxurious wife, I'm not talking about a Chanel purse or a Gucci. That's that's not luxury. Real luxury is comfort, convenience, and consistency. Mm. That's real luxury. Say it again. Mm. Luxury is not Chanel purses and Gucci purses. Real luxury is comfortability, convenience, and consistency. My wife has a very comfortable life. It's very convenient and it's consistent. It don't change. You get what I'm saying? Because some people got their priorities wrong. The man buy him a purse, but you sleep at, alone every, every night. You crying. Mm -hmm. Or he'll take you on a trip, but he talking to other girls, making you feel bad. You get what I'm saying? Or you spending all your money on a Gucci belt, homeboy, and you don't got no car. You be spending your money on Louis shoes, but you don't. Let me tell you something. Stop. Rubber rubber wheels beat rubber heels any day. Mm. Y'all blowing y'all money on a pair of shoes and don't have a car. That's you get what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by in my own way, I show her I love her and give her a luxurious life where it's consistent. It don't dip. It don't dip down. And it's comfortable. I love how you say comfortable. Yeah. Shut up. This is this is what I'll say. Consistency is so important to me. Same. Like I, I notice it when it's not there. Don't introduce me to a vibe that you cannot mm. maintain. Ooh. Say that again. Say that again. Yeah. Oh, look, look, yeah. look, yeah. look. It's so true. Say that again. Run that back. Ooh. 
Consistency is so important to me. Don't introduce me to a vibe that you cannot maintain. Mm, mm, if mm. you are going to mess with me in a certain way mm. and you know that you cannot keep that up, don't even bring that to the table. Mm. Because the moment that you take that away from a woman, we start to second guess ourselves. Mm. The relationship where we're at, where you're at, and it makes us feel like you really don't love us or feel a certain way about us. Mm. So if you text me good morning every single morning for the entirety of six months, and then one or two mornings you don't text me good morning, mm. I'm gonna feel like, oh my God, you woke mm. up with another person or you you're don't funny. feel, you know, you woke up, you're not feeling me anymore because that's the emotions of a woman. Right. I'm not saying that I need to be texting good morning every morning. Yeah. You really don't have to do But that. you started it. But <laughs> if you started it, let's keep it up. And if for some reason you can't because life is life yeah. and life be life in, then communicate yeah. and say, yo, my bad. I had a crazy day. Couldn't even hit you. Call you. Let me tell you what's going on because I don't expect that you can always keep that up. Mm. But I do expect that if you can't, you communicate the reasons why. Yeah. Period. That's why I said, but you're said, absolutely right. Man, man, cor yeah. cor that, that vibe is important. Mm. Which it's is important. why you say, yeah, make a man court you. Here we are 18 years later. I'm going to scroll back a couple of texts. Let's start today. Today I left some stuff at home. I went to the gym. So I asked her, hey, can you bring it to me? If I stay about 45 minutes to an hour away from my gym. When I made it there, I forgot. I realized I forgot some things I needed for the podcast. I asked her to bring it. She brought it. And then I texted her later after I got done training. I said, thank you for helping me out today, baby. Mm -hmm. That was a lifesaver. I love and appreciate you, Pound Cake Face. That's my nickname. Don't worry about it. And she said, you're welcome. And 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 sent the emojis. But every morning, in the mornings, this is, I'm scrolling back. This is how I, uh, morning, wife, I love you. Can you please tell me what our stock is looking like? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I, I also have her do things too, but it's usually yeah. in the morning. I'm like, hey, I love you. Hey, good morning, wife. Mm. I love you. Hope you have a great day at work today. Mm -hmm. But she also texts me. I just want to show y'all. I'm going on. We text all day long. Yeah. She had texted me stuff like uh, in the morning. And this is important. I like this text right here. Hey, honey, you hungry or need anything before I come home? Mm. That say a lot. That's showing love. Yeah. That's love right there. Like I'm on my way home. Do you need anything? That says a lot. So these type of things, they seem very insignificant or banal, They're but this huge. is your day to day relationship. The day to day relationship ain't the trip to Cabo yeah. or the, 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 the Louis That's purse. The, yeah. the day to day relationship is how you make each other feel what you saying to each other day to day and how you treating each other on the small banal things. You mm. get what I'm saying? Okay. So we promised you guys that we would do a quick segment at the end of each episode where we answer answer some of your questions um, that you send us in the DM. So we get a lot of questions, relationship advice and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and read one. Obviously, we're going to keep it anonymous, but hi, I hope this DM gets to you because I really want to pick your guys brain about the situation I'm going through internally in my love life. I've always said I wanted more. A man who pursued me, catered to me, communicates with me, loves on me and always and is all about me, girl you and everybody else okay so finally i get that but now it's like i'm subconsciously telling myself i don't deserve that so i begin to push it away i know this is trauma and i've been working through it but how can i release that fear of being authentically authentically loved when that's all i've been longing for a very very long time that's a, such a great question first of all mm. um i resonate with that a lot my immediate <laughs> reaction is you need to love yourself that way first date yourself do those things for yourself like i'm me personally i'm no good for someone if i don't have that for me like i always feel like how can i expect someone to fill me with something that i have not filled myself with first like how can i even compensate if that's even the right word for something that i don't do myself like i feel like we have to stop expecting someone from the outside to jump in and do the things that we are supposed to do first and foremost so if healing from your trauma first whatever that means to you. But to me, healing your trauma first before you get out there and expect someone to even remotely bring that energy towards you. Mm. Six. I'm gonna piggyback a little bit off of Jim, but I just want to tell this young lady that it is important 
that you do the work in between relationships or failed situationships. Mm. When you look at a broken relationship or a failed situationship, look, think about it like a, a boxer after a fight. He don't be like, all right, I'm fighting again next weekend. Mm. He needs time to heal, reflect, review the tape. If you meet your next boo before you did the healing process, you know good to be in that relationship. Because everybody is out there trying to find the right person instead of trying to be the right person. Ooh. So you need to be the right person. You probably feel that way because you know you're not all the way healed and you're not all the way the right person. So don't look for the right person. Be the right person and do the healing work. Do the trauma work. Do the reflective work before you enter your next boxing match, a.k.a. relationship. Thank you, Six. And I'll say, since I resonate with you a lot on that one, it genuinely is a mixture of both of what they say said. You have to do the work. You have to love yourself. Because a lot of the time we reject that love because we don't know how it feels. Since we're not giving it to ourselves, it feels unknown. It doesn't feel comfortable to us because that's not something that we're used to. So in order to feel comfortable with real love, you start within. And with that being said, we love y'all so, so much. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Holla back, holla front. <laughs> we love it. All right, guys, that is it. We have ran out of time. But if you like what you heard or disagree with what you heard today, please let us know. Follow us on Instagram at the UAF podcast and also like and subscribe to our YouTube, the UAF podcast. Again, we always read your comments and we always respect your perspective. Thank you for tuning in. This is the UAF crew. And as always, we are not sorry.